And like usually, I'm taking this video outside on the balcony just because of the size of the box. So about a few weeks ago, I was lucky enough to be the first guy to respond to a post of a lady that uh, gave this thing away. It's an Xbox um, drums. Uh, there you go. It's really nice. I already took it apart and played with it. I made a, a connector for all the piazza sensors that are here. I took the main board out. Uh, the state of it is a bit rough, but I knew that. I'm just going to change the pads. Already tempered with this one. As you can see, there's wires. I play with it. Um, the hardest task is going to definitely be the code. It's not the hardware. So, full box lucky. And I'm going to show you the videos of taking it apart and um, what's inside and how I've altered the code. Piazza is under here. I can get the light in it, and you can see the piazza. And it goes to something like this, which is an entire processor. You can see. I got a. What is it? You see the number? I can't. I'll see later. I actually have a chip here. That's interesting. Okay, there's a spring here, which is interesting. I think it was like this, maybe it was upside down, like this, I don't know actually, I guess like this, and those are broken here, so it's only holding on those two screws, this one and this, I think that's what I'm doing, so, and the piazza is buried down there, so let's hook it up to uh, Uno and see what we get. So I've cut this part out. I'm gonna expose those wires. I use alligators. I'm connected to Arduino. When using alligators, when I know things are gonna move around, something I do is I use tape and I dock them. So there will be no mistakes. Both are secured up to tape. So then when I do this. I don't have to worry about the wires. I placed two screws back here so I can flip it without this part is falling apart. One more thing I wanted to say about the board and the reason I chose to do it this way and with a kind of like a strip like this is that I do not know what the end format of what's going to read those sensors is going to be and I wanted something that like it will be firm and I can test on and there's the one mega ohm resistor you're going to have in between <coughs> the two sides of the piezo to protect the, in, the input pin um, so that's the reason it's like this, because I do not know what's the end of it, it's going to be, what's going to read it. The pen right now is some form of an Arduino and maybe a Raspberry Pi that will actually play the, the tones themselves in MIDI. Now the reason it's outside is this. It's broken. So in order for me to um, set it up, I need to first glue it up epoxy. So, Epoxy time, and then I'm gonna set it up and make another video when it's set up and see uh, a test run.